before any lecture, you're going to want to do a little bit of analyzation. First, the subject matter. We know that we're going to teach you how to use the smart board and other technology to make yourself a better teacher. Of course, we're a group of teachers. I, my style, is a bit more experimental, so I like to add as much as I can without losing the content of the lesson. And finally, then consider the technology you're going to use to advance your teaching objective. In this case, I'm using Prezi to introduce the smart board. Once you've built a plan, then you need to prepare. Before your presentation, make sure you get there a little early to ensure your computer's working. Your lesson plan, including technology, should be developed well before the actual day of the lecture. In this case, I used Prezi to help get my point of how to teach technology across. Before using the smart board, you'll want to make sure you know how to turn the overhead projector on, adjust the volume for any videos you might want to play, and select your source. Prepare your technology before your lecture. In this case, I've set up my smart board with my tools to the right where I'll be standing, and I've set up my Prezi so the students don't have to watch me fumble around on the board. This increases my credibility. Once you've prepared, you're ready to teach. Technology can add interest, engage visual learners, and make things a little more fun. Embedding a YouTube video, knowing where your controls are, how to advance your Prezi, are great ways for you to use a smart board. Another great thing you can do in a classroom is collaborate with your students. The smart board is equipped with specially designed pens which enable you to write on it. In this case, we're deciding what kind of technology is important. If we select the key, then we'll be able to close the ink layer. 